So right here I have like a box full of miscellaneous tackle, as you guys can see right here. It's actually a lot more than it looks. It, it weighs a lot too. So the reason that I have a giant box of tackle right here is because I'm going to be giving it away to a subscriber. Uh, before you guys get super excited, I don't mean like I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, just a while back, I made a challenge video with two subs, and they creamed me in the challenge video. I was going to buy them $15 gift cards for the challenge, and they didn't want gift cards. They wanted to fish with me instead and something like that. So I was supposed to take them sealhead fishing, but we never found a date. That never happened, so I feel terrible. But, um, you know, we're still going to work something out. I'm going to take these guys fishing. Actually, they're not even going to know that until they see this video. So I think what I'm going to do for them is I'm going to arrange some kind of fishing trip where they can come fishing in my boat. Maybe we'll musky fish. Maybe I'll take them bass fishing. One of the kids, he hits me up on Instagram DMs all the time. He's always asking me questions. He's always sending me pictures of his fish. And, um, you know, I was going through all my tackle recently. And, you know, I just have a bunch of stuff that I don't need anymore. And so I'm just going to give it to him today. I told him to swing by my house that I have a little surprise for him and uh, so I don't think he really knows what he's getting. It's not the best stuff in the world. Like I mean it's not like brand new stuff. It's just literally everything that I had over the years that I don't use anymore and I hate when I have stuff just collect dust in my basement. I hate when it just sits down there and does nothing. So I'm going to give them all to him. This kid fishes a ton so I think he'll put it to good use. I also want him to split it with his friends. So share it guys whatever. So here we go. I have like I'll just show you guys what's in the box. Again, it's nothing that crazy. I don't know. I have a lot of terminal tackle. There's some like random crankbaits in here. This is all terminal tackle. This is a ton of weight, sinkers, hooks. Uh, I don't know. Here's some lipless cranks, I think, are in here. I don't know. Something like that. Tons and tons of soft plastics. Like, I don't know what to do with myself with these. Some of them are brand new, never even opened. There's. I pretty much threw everything in a box. There's hooks. There's a reel in here. There's. Some Kitex, another just empty box. It looks like some jerk baits were in here. Some stick baits. I mean, guys, there's just stuff that like is old as heck, like this. I don't even know what on earth this is. Sorry, boys, I'm taking this one away. I think I might do a challenge video with this now that I'm looking at this thing. I mean, this thing just looks ridiculous, so I'm keeping it. Sorry. Move down here. There's crank baits. There's more packs of hooks. There's a couple of jigs. There's a swim bait in here from one of my videos. I don't know, but it just goes on and on. So I'm gonna give him all this tackle today. He's gonna swing by. I'm gonna kind of surprise him with that. We're gonna do that. I think that'll be fun. And um, I'm gonna do some other things around the house. Today, you guys are just kind of chilling with me today. We're gonna do a, just a laid back video. You guys wanna see what I do in my average life and everything like that. There's a lot that I do in my spare time when I'm not fishing. I'm kind of wanna do a little bit of vlogs. I also want to do a little bit of fishing content. So I'm going to put this stuff together and uh, we'll see you guys back when uh, your boy gets here. What's up guys? Getting really close to my face. You just trying to make this as awkward as possible, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was giving you tackle. Yeah. I'm actually giving you my boat. Wow, wow. This is, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. And we got Knucklehead over here. You guys have seen them before. This is literally everything that I just don't ever use and it's been sitting in this box forever. So just take it all. There's hooks in there. There's some square bills. There's like a reel in here. There's swim kitex. There's swim baits. There's stuff that's never been opened. This is sweet. You're gonna have to go through it. So I was telling them earlier, I was supposed to take them out steelhead fishing. We never got around to doing that. So I'm thinking maybe I'll take you guys on the boat or something. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, man. That You know that? I made a video with that. You're getting exclusive stuff here. You could probably sell on eBay when I'm Tyler famous. Exclusive. Get it autographed. <laughs> Should I give an outro? No. I'm going to continue my video for the day. <laughs> Have fun. All right. See ya. Let me know if that stuff works. You want a hat throw? Uh, no. Hat throw? The, the video just started. Oh, it's, that's it's right. Not, it's not ending. It's not, it's not edited. I'm a goon. Get out of my driveway! <laughs> All right, dude, peace out. So, what I'm gonna be doing now is I gotta do a bunch of other things, guys. I wanna put this salt lick out. I'm gonna go put that backyard. I need to check out the deer stand and kind of the deer property. Hunting season's going to be coming up, and I haven't done any preparation for that. I don't know if you guys like the hunting videos, but regardless, I'll probably be deer hunting this year, so. Alrighty, so I got this trail cam. I want to go put this out back on the deer property. I got 
some salt like some mineral blocks that need to make it into the back of the property ah, ah, I'm gonna drop everything I should probably do this after I film this part it's like 95 degrees outside here in Ohio humidity is ridiculous so when it's like 90 out it feels like a hundred million you know it's freaking terrible so I gotta go drag this like two acres back by my tree stand oh, man these things are heavy the reason that I kind of want to change things around and want to do things is because, as you guys can see, my tree stand is right up there. And the tree that it was in, it used to be super covered and like you could stand up there and not necessarily be noticed. But now that the tree is pretty much dying, yeah, it's kind of just like right there. Like a deer comes through, they come through here, they come through there, like they're going to see me. like. You know, that tree's like really dead. Hi, can I place an order for pickup? Can I do a sesame chicken combo? Thanks. I had to order some food because your boy's gotta eat during the day. All right, I got my drink. I'm gonna go take you guys downstairs with me. He has just going through my house and all these rooms. I'm currently organizing a bunch of stuff I got stuff literally all over the place. I've been trying to get organized. Um, I got MTB boxes full up here. I got boxes that need lures. I got boxes that are freshly stocked with lures. I've been just trying to get real organized. Oh, hey, by the way, guys, if you want one of these, you can now use the code TIGHTLINE to get your first box for as little as $5. This is not a sponsored video. I just want you guys to know that before I had a code and apparently it didn't work. So now it works. So if you guys want to get an MTB Pro box like that for like six bucks, use the code TIGHTLINE. And uh, yeah, so I'm kind of getting organized. I just recently, you know, bought some new stuff. These guys can see right here. I got a bunch of drop shot stuff. I got a new frog. And then I have all this stuff from Carl's that just needs to be organized and things like that. So as you guys can see, like, I have enough tackle to worry about. That's why I gave a lot over to that kid. And this is going to be completely random. So now I'm out here fishing. So you guys are coming fishing with us now all of a sudden. I got Dre with me right here. And uh, we're in a predicament right now. So we came to a lake and it's straight dried up. And we're trying to get the John boat in right now. And we're stuck in the mud. So Andre might be taking one for the team. And getting mucky feet. Dirt nasty style. Are we going to try and push it or are you going to try and... Just do it. We're gonna do it. This is how it goes sometimes, guys. We're just we're just rolling the life, you know? This is what happens prior to the videos that you guys watch. So this is kind of funny because you don't get to see the lead up to how some of this stuff goes. So Yeah, Dre, I'm ready. Oh man. Just ugh, how gooky is it? Ugh, dude. <laughs> Alright, you I'm ready? Gonna, I'm gonna stand up here, ready? I'll push, ready? One, two, three. Okay. Okay, we're floating. Hey, hey, listen. Careful by the trolling motor, okay? I don't want you to get cut up. We are fishing. I've never even fished here before, to be honest with you guys. This is like a, a public gazebo lake. Don't really know if I can even have a John boat on it, but uh, we're sending it. What's the goal for today, Dre? What are we trying to catch? Bass. Trying to catch some bass. Some hogs. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, catastrophe that you're about to watch. And maybe we'll catch some biggins, but I don't know. All right, I can't paddle with one hand. I need to put the camera down. I'm going to rig up, throw the GoPro on. All right, we out here. It feels good to fish in an entirely different body of water. You know what I mean? Like, this is completely different. We really, like, this is this not a weird lake or what, Dre? Like, I did not expect it to be all, like, bouldery and stuff. And, uh, it's yeah, it's just in a weird spot. Definitely has snags. Snagged already. Already. I think she's goner. Oh, there goes that. What color crankbait did you catch that wall in? Blue. How about I just troll this down this bank? You want to troll him? Huh? Hold yours off this side, and I hold mine off this. No way. I got one. No, I'm not kidding you. I got one trolling. It's tiny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is almost embarrassing. I don't even know if I'm happy about that. Well, hold up. Let me reel mine in before I get like, hooked or something. 
now we're gonna try and troll up and down it I guess again Wow guys that is insane world's biggest this might be a state record Dre well that's not exactly what we're looking for but maybe that's what we got to do is troll crankbaits down this shoreline complete change now we're in the middle of a public gazebo park um this should be interesting i don't I, I really don't know like if i'm allowed to have john boat in here to be honest with you but they didn't tell us no so it's easier to ask for uh forgiveness than permission i, I suppose <laughs> i can't do this oh this is the worst <laughs> No way. Trolling? <laughs> Good one too, huh? Be a giant. Or did you snag the fountain? Oh, oh, is it a giant? Oh my God, it's a, oh, dude, it's like half an ounce, bro. Oh, here, let me land it. Oh, no, you're gonna lose it. Flip it in. <laughs> dude, honestly, we might just be better off trolling in circles around this whole pond. Half a pound. They're getting bigger. They're, they're getting bigger. S Oh yeah, bye. Dude, I was trolling fast too. Bye, dude. Well, if this don't work, I'm gonna put one back on and we're just gonna go in circles right. around. Who? Seaweed. No, that's a fish. Never mind. Look at that. Another giant. Another giant, bro. <laughs> I've never caught so many consistently tiny bass in my life. We're trolling for the world's smallest largemouth. I think that's what this has come down to. They're just babies. Sorry, bud. And out you go. I, I thought I hit a weed and it was really a fish. It's got a bite. Or is it just a miniature fish? I think it might be. It might be another mini. It's another mini, isn't it? Oh, it came off. It was another mini one. How did I get oh. weed? You on? Yeah. Big one or weeds? Oh, it's coming up, rod tip down. Oh, oh my God, dude, it's a freaking giant. Oh my God. I don't even, is that a crappie? I was making a joke, but I really think that's actually a big crappie that you snagged in the top of the head. <laughs> oh, that was funny, dude. Dude, this wall is good. You on? That's the fish is coming up. Rod tip down. Oh, I think I got one too. Dude, this is like the only way we're catching. This one's a decent size. Is it? Okay, you want me to land it? Here, bring it over to me. Is it actually decent? Oh yeah, it's not bad. It's not huge, but it's not bad. That's not terrible. I'll take it off. Yeah. One picture. Good old snappy. Here, show that one up. That one's a, probably about a 13 inch. Or biggest bass that even exists in here. What you guys say about today, Dre? I outfished you, as always. <laughs> yeah, you actually did outfish me, didn't you? Uh-oh. Uh, we got off the water. It was like the worst pond ever. We caught fish. Dre caught what, four? Four. Well, you caught three, snagged one. I caught two that were literally the size of my finger. And so I'll probably never fish there again. But needless to say, another adventure, another day and uh another video so thank you guys so much for watching i gotta get ready it's beer drinking time so we're gonna unload the boat right here and uh you know i'm gonna get to it so hey if you guys are new here do me a favor smash that subscribe button if you like this style video drop me a like and leave a comment down below i always want to know what you guys are thinking about my videos our net we'll catch you guys where, where are we gonna catch them next anywhere but here we will catch you guys right. in the next one